Hello, welcome back to the FT. I'm here today with Arash Masudi, uh, who's been covering the IPO of King Digital, uh, a company that's more well known for its hit game, Candy Crush. Uh, Arash, tell us about the IPO pricing this afternoon, how that went. Yes, so King has raised $500 million uh, in, you know, in a phenomenal moment for European technology companies here in the US. Uh, it's valued the company at $8 billion, but there are some concerns. Uh, King did price at the midpoint of a 21 to 24 dollar range after crisscrossing the Atlantic for the last two weeks. Its management and the and the company's underwriters faced a lot of questions from investors whether they can replicate the success that Candy Crush has had. And at the end of the day, some large investors decided that they were that it was too risky for them, and they decided to sit out. So this midpoint pricing reflects a sort of a, a recognition by the company and the bankers on the deal that perhaps they need to leave some money on the table to get investors happy right. with the deal. So King Digital is a very interesting company. Uh, its rise obviously has been meteoric based on this one game. Uh, and it happens to be uh, highly profitable. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so just think about how much money King was making in 2012, which was $164 million in revenues mm -hmm. and uh, almost $2 billion last year. So yeah. th this company is spitting out cash flow. It has 644 employees uh, and it is riding one game that is maturing very quickly. Now the question is, can this company replicate that success? Now they currently have three of the most popular top 10 games in the Apple App Store, uh, but none have reached the level that Candy Crush has, ha has had. So you know, there's, this is a moment where the company has paid itself a dividend, of, dividend to itself and its shareholders of $500 million, and it's just raised another $500 million. So phenomenal money coming out of the business, but what can they do to keep money coming in? Right. And so we're actually at a very interesting point in the tech IPO cycle. Uh, King is obviously a very high profile deal. There's more deals coming, coming up. Valuations are amazing this afternoon. Facebook bought a uh, startup uh, virtual reality business for $2 billion. Uh, tell us uh, what's next in tech uh, and valuations and yeah, IPOs. It's a billion here, a billion there. Uh, yeah. We saw Box, a software company that focuses on cloud storage for enterprise businesses. Uh, release its IPO paperwork yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's seeking something like a two billion dollar plus valuation, even though it's losing a tremendous amount of money. Yep. You see King riding the back of this one game come out at eight billion dollars, and you know there's a full pipeline of deals such as the Chinese version of Twitter, Weibo, coming mm -hmm. out, Alibaba, JD.com, both e-commerce giants. It is an incredible moment, but the question is how far can can this run, and how real are some of these companies? I think tomorrow will be a very interesting start to trading for King. As I said, some, some hedge funds have sat out on this deal, yep. and it'll be interesting to see what sort of support levels there are if this gets off to a rocky start. Okay, well, we'll be watching.